Yo, what is good everybody? It is your boy Ant, one half of the Lingwin Duo here, coming at you with another episode of Dragon Link 101, the series where I teach you everything you need to know about Dragon Link in 2020. In this week's episode, we're going to be going over Dragon Link test hands, and I'm going to be teaching you how to play through interruptions like Nibiru, Impermanence, and Gamma on the Dragon Link choke points. I'll be going over what extenders you need in your hand in order to play through those hand traps so that you can go full combo on your opponent, and they will be sad. But before we get into that, I want to thank everybody for clicking on this video today, and if you guys like the content that you see, please consider giving us a like and subscribing to the channel because we got new videos coming out every Monday and Wednesday, so you're going to want to hit the bell icon so you're up to date on all that sweet, sweet content. Without further ado, let us get into this week's episode of Dragon Link 101. To start, I want to bring back the chart that I brought up in Dragon Link 101 Episode 1, where I go over how to sequence your plays. This chart is going to show you the best starters and extenders you can have in your hand in order to play through the most amount of interruptions. So of course we have the starters that you guys see at the top right there. Those are the best starters that you're going to want to see in your opening hand. And those will probably allow you to play through the most hand traps at first. And then we also have the all-important tuner extender. If there's one thing that I want you guys to take away from this video is that it's the tuner extender in your hand that is going to let you play through the most amount of disruptions because your opponent will uh, potentially stop you from your Romulus choke point or they will Nibiru you when you use Metal Marcher. And if you get all of that, you're going to need a tuner extender in your hand to make healthy Fibrex, which is the way to go full Guard Dragon combo and then end on uh, your full board, usually missing Herald, which you're going to see in the videos coming up when I do my test hands. But I want to show you this first because these are the cards that you're going to need in your hand or get throughout your combo that will help you play through those hand traps. So if you have any of these, you know that you're going to be able to play through some amount of hand traps. So be on the lookout when you guys are playing your Dragon Link deck, if you open any of these cards in your hand, you're going to know that you can play through a certain amount of hand traps. So there you go. Sequence your plays that way. And then I'll show you guys how I do it in the test hands coming up right now. Okay, so for the first test hand, I want to show you guys the cards that I get in my hand and give you a little bit of a breakdown of the way that I would sequence my plays with the cards that I draw. So we see that we get the Tracer, we get a Quick Launch, White Dragon, and then two hand traps. This is a pretty good hand because we have a tuner extender in our hand already. Even though we don't have a good normal summon, we can still use the uh, rocket tracer to normal summon. And then we can use quick launch and the other dragon extender in your hand to continue to try to do your full plays. So the way that I would sequence this hand would be to at first normal summon the rocket tracer and then use rocket tracer in my graveyard as the banish fodder for the white dragon and that'll let us get a chain block on Romulus as well. So you're going to see me go and link that away for the striker dragon and then I get boot sector launch. This is okay. You can choose not to get boot sector launch if you want to play through droll but I just grabbed it just um, just because. And then now that I have the dark dragon in my graveyard we have a white in our hand so we can special summon that. That gives us two dragons, which is the first choke point of the combo. You need two dragons in order to get Romulus. And then Romulus is going to get the Dragonity Divine Lance. And you're going to get your black dragon from the white dragon. So you can get your Divine Lance and then do all your Dragonity plays from there. So special summon the Phalanx and then go into your Link Cross. And in this hand, I'm going to play through Nibiru. And I'll show you guys how I do that if you have the dragon um, if you have the tuner extender in your hand. So we're going to get the link cross and then we can make our metal marcher and then metal marcher is going to revive that and then at this point is when your opponent is most likely to hit you with Nibiru because this is the choke point before you get into your herald and once you get into herald then you're a little bit protected from Nibiru through that. So you get the nib token so you have one monster on your field and all you need is one more monster that is a tuner in order to get healthy Fibrax. That is the next point that we want to get to in our combo. Uh, Nibiru stops us from setting up the Herald in our combo, but we can still get full Guard Dragon plays and Borload Savage and Spheres and Union Carrier through all this if we just have that Tuner Extender, which I saved, of course, because I saved the Quick Launch in my hand, and then I can go into Halky Fibrax through that. And then with Halky Fibrax, all you need is another Dragon Extender, 
uh, and you need pretty much two more dragons in your hand and uh, then you can make the guard dragon plays. So I have the black dragon in my hand already and I also have the uh, Halki Fibrax which is going to special summon my rocket synchron which is the uh, rocket tuner that is the, my target for uh, this situation. So right there I can make LP and then I could use the other dragon in my hand which is the black dragon to go ahead and you can make something like striker dragon or you can make guard dragon LP and then you get full combo through there. The next combo sequence that I want to show you guys is how you can make herald before you actually go into your uh, needle fiber. So what you're going to need to do is just get link cross with the two tokens and all you need in your hand is a a dragon extender such as the world legacy guard dragon or two other dragon monsters in your hand and then you can just use the two level one tokens and phalanx in order to go into herald straight up it's a good way to disrupt your opponent um, because they won't be thinking that you will just go into herald straight up but you can use the world legacy guard dragon to revive back the phalanx and then use phalanx to go into lp and then move lp with um under link cross so that way you can have two tokens to go into that. So that's how you get that and then you can get full combo through that as well. Test hand I'm going to show you guys how I play with some of the bricks in my hand. As you can see I draw two of the worst bricks that you could possibly draw in the dragon link deck which is phalanx and the Dra dragon buster destruction sword but I also draw one of the best starters which is the chaos space. So that's going to let me play uh, with the bricks in my hand uh, really really well. So I'm going to use the Chaos Space and then get Black Dragon from that. And what my goal is, uh, in order to special summon the Phalanx from my hand, I want uh, to have another Dragon Extender after I set up Romulus, so that way I can make Striker Dragon under Romulus, and then use Romulus' second effect, which will let me special summon that Dragoonity from my hand. So that way I can go into Link Cross and do full combo through there. So. First, I want to link away the Black Dragon so I can get White Dragon and the Boot Sector launch into my hand with Striker. And then I can use the Striker Dragon and another Dragon Monster to make the Romulus right there. So I am going to Special Summon the White and then use Chaos Space to put that at the bottom so that way I can draw a card and then Chain Block with Romulus again so I can get the Black Dragon into my hand. And you can see I draw another brick right there, which is my Vylon Cube, but that's not going to matter. I'm going to get the Black Dragon, and then I'm going to get the Divine Lance, even though we can't really use it. Just good discard fodder to have for later on, because it's chain block, so pretty safe. And then we can use another Dragon Extender in our hand. We didn't normal summon this turn, so it really helps us out that we have a Dragon Normal Summon. So we can Normal Summon Brotar, and then go into Striker Dragon, and then use Romulus' effect, so we can get the Divine... Uh, Special summon our Dragoonity from our hand, get Link Cross, and then pretty much go full combo through there. And that is how you do that. Just make sure you have another tuner or another extender, <coughs> excuse me, another extender in your hand so that way you can make a Striker Dragon under Romulus so that way you can special summon that Phalanx. This time I'm going to show you guys how you can play through Imperm on your Romulus. What you're going to need in your hand is, of course, another Tuner Extender and a Dragon Extender in your hand so you can go to Halky Fibrax and then Guard Dragon combos through that. So I'm going to start off by using my Chaos Space and then get the Black Dragon and then go Black Dragon for Striker Dragon and then get that effect. You're going to see that Chaos Space is one of the best cards you can have in your opening hand because it lets you play through so many different interruptions because you actually don't need to use your normal summon that turn until you get interrupted or you can use it later on in your combo if you choose to but chaos space is full combo without normal summon so it's really 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 good and it gives you the best extenders which are the white and black dragon in your hand so we can get the black dragon with striker dragon get white and boot and then can use white to banish black and then of course use chaos space effect to put that back so we can have another chain block of that as well you can see i draw the uh, divine lands but i want to show you guys how you can play through it without actually use getting to divine lands access we actually drew a rocket tracer instead off of that and that's going to help us because uh, it's going to be another tuner extender 
with boot sector launch in our hand. So we're going to special summon our Romulus, and then Romulus is going to get uh, impermed. Even though we have a chain block on it, it still gets impermed, so we now we can't get the Divine Lance. And that is going to prevent us from getting that essential Dragoonity Tuner in our hand. But now that we do have a Tuner Extender in our hand, we can use um, our normal summon, or we can use our Dragon Tuner to go into Helky Fibrax. So right here I choose to use Boot Sector Launch, and then get... I could, you could either get Link Cross, or you can go into Helky Fibrax straight up. I'm going to get into Link Cross first. Kind of depends on what you think you need to do. First, I'm going to set up Link Cross. This kind of opens us uh, a little bit more to Nib, but if you get Halky Fibrax straight up, that is going to open you up to another hand trap as well. So it kind of depends on what you think your opponent has in their hand. Um, right now, I'm just going to get my access to the tokens first, and then we're going to use the Needle Fiber so that we could special summon our failings from our deck from that, because that is going to let us get the... Um, two arrows from Helky Fibrax, and we can also get our Metal Marcher plays from that as well. So, Helk is going to special summon our Dragoonity Phalanx, and then we can go from the like normal combos that we would do from that, getting Phalanx into Marcher, and then Marcher bring that back, and then we have a bunch of Dragon Monsters so that we can go into our Guard Dragon plays from there, and that's going to let us get full combo. We can even test hand that we're going to do in this video. I'm going to show you guys how I play through the Gamma on Romulus. And this one is a little tougher to play through. You need a lot of specific extenders in your hand. And right now I have two really great extenders in the Rocket Tracer with Boot Sector Launch. And I have a White Dragon in my hand as well. So I'm going to use the classic Black Dragon combo to get Romulus. And because it's not chain blocked, he's more open to Gamma. So I'm going to try to use Romulus' effect right here. It's going to get gammaed, and now my board is pretty much wiped. But I need two Dragon Extenders, including a Tuner. So that is pretty much how you go into your Needle Fiber. And then you need to have another Dragon so you can go into the Guard Dragon place from that as well. So you're going to see me try to use Boot to Special Summon the Rocket Tracer in my hand. And then... You gotta use the white dragon. The white dragon is the best dragon because uh, you will often have black. Uh, I'm sorry. You'll often have uh, like black dragon or a dark dragon monster in your graveyard, so you can special summon it. Black dragon is a little bit worse because it's harder to get light dragons in there. But if you have white, it's a really really great extender and that will let you get into your needle fiber from there. And uh, you see me using those two monsters to go into needle fiber. You could also use one for one as a tuner extender. But I am going to just have Needle Fiber from that. And then you can get the Black Dragon and use your Phalanx from the Needle Fiber to go into the Link Cross plays. And then you have, again, full combo through that. I'm going to show you guys a little bit different way that, I can, that you can use full combo if you don't have another Dragon Extender in your hand. So what you would do is instead of making the Herald, you can actually use Phalanx to make the LP under... Striker Dragon, and then you have to use Link Cross and your Metal Marcher, so that way you can go into the um, Buster Dragon, the Buster Whelp Link 2, so that way you have arrows pointing to the, you have arrows pointing to LP through that. So that is one other thing that you can do if you don't have access to another Dragon Tuner in your hand, even though I did this time, you can still do this play. Um, it's pretty good. And then what you pretty much do is instead of popping the uh, Boot Sector Launch with Tracer later on, you can just pop that token later on, and then you can get your Savage through that. So that's pretty much what you do. You can use LP's effect right here, and then get whatever dragon that you need, and then go into your guard dragon combos through that, and that'll get you pretty much Spheres. If you have another extender, you can get Union Carrier, and then you can get your Borload Savage as well. So... That is how you play through Gamma. You just need, again, Tuner Extender and another Monster Extender to make the Needle Fiber. And because you didn't go into Link Cross before that, you still can get your Link Cross plays right there. So, uh, there you go. So, that does it for the video. I hope you guys took away that Dragon Link has a lot of extenders in the deck. 
and you can play through almost any interruption if you have the tuner extender in your hand as well. So, guys, you need to maximize out on the tuner extenders if possible, and I hope we can find ways in our builds in the future so that we can find access to more Dragon Tuner extenders so that we can play through even more disruptions and just make this deck really, really crazy and hard to beat. I hope you guys enjoyed the content today. Thank you all for checking out this video. If you guys liked it, please give it a like and sub to our channel because we got more Dragon Link 101s coming out. We're going to have more gameplay of Dragon Link versus the decks of the meta. And I hope you guys stick around to watch all of that. My name's Ant. This has been Delinquent Duo. And peace.